Yes, let's do it. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, this is Eddie Marcus again on this Monday night. Yes, it's been a beautiful day, and it's been a hell of a day. I've got my message in my spirit. I want to share it with you. I wanted to kind of make some notes so I can be sounding like I'm kind of into it, keeping order with what I'm saying. But I also want to just speak off the cuff. So I think I just speak off the cuff. Because anything I write, well, to be, be honest and tell you the truth, I went and took my notebook and I started to look for a page to write. And as I was skimming through my other messages that I brought, all I saw was everything I was going to say. So I'm thinking, why am I going to rewrite this? Or why, what? I already got this posted. So I'm going to take this moment to say to the people that hears my voice, wherever you might be today or whenever you might, listen, please. When I talk to you, I talk to you because I envision peace and prosperity and freedom and joy, happiness and dreams are being lived. Your needs, your wants, desires met at your leisure. I don't know why I feel that every human being on earth wants that. I know I would love to have that. And I would love for my neighbors, all other people outside of me, to have the benefit of life that they desire just as I would for me. And to me, that is no more beautiful thing that a human being can uh, uh, can do in the society. I can't say anything better than that. And yet, as I see all of the different factions of that, all of the different little things that goes to make up these little, big things, sometimes it, it only seems as if it's significant when it is seen as the big thing. And yet at the same time, all of the little things were just as important. It is the little things that gave the big thing its value. And yet we look at stuff about what represents God and what doesn't. And we look at these good things that we do in life. And we say that the little things are things that the world allows you, the world permits you to do. Because it doesn't rock the boat. It doesn't change anything. It doesn't really open up the eyes of anyone. And so you can do that, and it makes the world feel that it's got you kind of more engulfed, enchained, because now you're thinking, well, the world isn't so bad. The world got this little soup line. The world got this charity. The world is doing these different things. So the world can't be so bad. Yet, you're contrasting that with the reality that God has prepared it for, as I just mentioned it. If you desire it, and your des we, everybody knows if you desire it, if you go after it. And if you don't go after it, chances are you won't get it. So I'm thinking about the people all over the world. I look at sometimes when you go on a cable or internet, they show you, you can go and watch people who are supposed to be representing wealth all over the world. You can even go to some of the poorest countries and then they can take you to the wealth of those poorest countries. And they're walking around like everything is so fine. I see it in India. I look at the power of that beast. Oh, man. I look at it in Africa. I look at the powers that be. I look at it in Asia. I see the powers that be. I see it in everywhere. Even in Israel, the powers that be. Even in America, the powers that be. And then I look at all the rich people. I mean the millionaires, the multimillionaires, the billionaires, the multi-billionaires. Then I think about all the secret societies, the people who got their own agenda going. And I think about the powers that connect all of the other powers together that comes to make up this big whatever it is that we live in and go through every day. And I'm thinking about, I mean, like when we were talking about, what's this guy named uh, Kushner? Um, 
he was they were talking about this two billion dollars that he got. And I'm thinking about when you look at these people with all these turbans on and nice beards and all clean and debonair and beautiful. And then I'm thinking about the people who are living in these cities all over the world that are dilapidated. Look like whirlwinds and storms have gone through. And see, it doesn't reflect any empathy or compassion or love for those people who suffer so much. It appears as if the world has taught us just to get our stuff, enjoy our lives, and that's it. Even when we think about the churches and stuff, especially the mega churches, it's like a, com a composition of all of, like you see, all the white people in the, in the South with a certain thought to want to go and create a great a greater America. It's like all of these people on this mega churches and stuff where they are all just flowing in money. I mean, everything is just some women in money. And they use everything to see that God is blessing in money. And yet, when you look at the people who can't have those blessings because they don't have any money, can't get any money. If they had their choice, if they had their way, they would. But they live in some situation that serves them negatively. And it doesn't seem as if it's going to change because all of the efforts that are being tried are efforts that have been tried before. And we seem as if though we don't want to change them, except one that is going on now in America where they say they want to take America to its lowest low. And I, the people of America should know that what's going on in America did not just happen. It is not happenstance. The truth of the matter is, you know Donald Trump was a plant. He was planted in that position. The position, the, the reason he got all that publicity is because all of the powers that be are in control of all of those different things. And they made sure that Donald Trump and whatever he represented got all the representation it could get, even to the extent of, of uh, whole uh, networks just lying, buying lies and selling lies. Why? It's part of the plan. The Congress, the Senate, the entire Senate, the Republican, during the time Donald Trump was in office messing over everybody, he could do no wrong. Why? Because he was a plant. He is a plant to do and to tear down America, to break down America. And all of these people that know and follow Donald Trump, they know what's going on. They are trying to make sure that they can survive what is being attempted now. They know how weak people are. They This is nothing new. People know all over. Why do you think Russia got conquered with that dictator? China, all these different places. These people know that you will get afraid of dying and you don't want to die and somebody standing there and tell you they got to, will kill you and they got the guns. They made sure that they got the guns. And now in certain parts of the country they want them to go back like the wild, wild west. Wearing them. Better to just take you out. Pete. That's cause there's no love. There's no what you would call the kind of stuff that comes together that brings the kind of peace that makes sure that your needs are met, that your desires are met. No, that kind of stuff is in the mindset of the people of this country. So I just want to remind you, ladies and gentlemen, that it's not. And I want to remind you as well that this move that is being made can only be successful if you acquiesce and give in to it. If you empower it with your fear, if you empower it with your either it'll change of the past or I can't do anything about it, then it will tear you up. I'm going to tell you a secret, ladies and gentlemen. The beginning of heaven on earth begins with you, the individual. The beginning of heaven on earth begins with you, the individual. Every last one of you, you are heaven on earth. Know it. Show it. There are people in Washington right now. Let me just say these things, then I'm going to go. The Republicans, I just gave a brief description of what they are about, especially with Donald Trump and those mega people. That's what it means. The Democrats compared to the Republicans, to a Democrat, and other people that are not megas, the, the Democrats are just absolutely fantastic. But the truth of the matter is, the Democrats are 
as well. Think they're not? Go out there and ask those people who got no place to stay. Go out there and ask those people who got a place to stay but can barely pay their rent. Go out there and ask those people who are just wondering, who are hoping, in fact, that the world came to an end, that there might be some justice, that those people who've abused them, misused them their entire lives, might get their due. And the same that some people are waiting for Donald Trump to get his accountability, then there are some people who are looking and waiting for the world to get its accountability. Because there's no reason except ignorance that people would oppress others and people would accept the oppression. It is a reflection of an absence of that power that would enable you to feel free, to feel good, no shame in your game. And there's no one can point a finger at you and say anything negative. They can say that man would care. I couldn't maybe do the things I wanted to do because I wanted some crazy things, but because of that man, I didn't suffer. What does that mean? That means you woke up. What did I say? That means you woke up. And you realize that the way you've been going is the way that you don't want to go again. And what you haven't tried probably is where your gift is hiding at. And you are bold and daring enough, bodacious enough, should I say, to step into it and see. Because what you are is what you're going to draw to you. And if you're that good, if you're that caring, if you're that lovely, then that's what you're going to draw to you. And that's what you are going to reflect to the world. So, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to take a moment in time to share something like that with you. You won't be able to hear this on the news tomorrow. Tomorrow, they're going to be talking about Donald Trump turning himself in to be accountable for some of the sins that he perpetrated against the people. And they're going to talk about it at everything they got an outlet. They're going to talk about it day and night, night and day, tomorrow, tomorrow, the next day, the next week. And by that end of that, you're going to be filled with all that trash. doesn't matter what side you're on. It's going to be trash, and it's going to be just covering you, in you. And that peace and prosperity and joy that you could have had, that you could have had your time uh, focusing on and ready to get into, you couldn't do that. Why? Because those who own the outlets were not permitted. And had you not even wanting to hear it. Because it must be crazy, because if it was worth anything, for sure they would allow it to be said. If they would allow a fox to just go on the air and tell lies to the people, surely they would permit them to come out and share some good news. Well, <laughs> we shall see. Good night.